In October of 2018, Phoenix Luna visited Yuka Takaoka's bar. Just like Yuka, Phoenix was a host at a club called Fusion that was located nearby. The only difference was that his clients were women. Apparently, Yuka immediately became interested in the handsome 20 year old, so much so that she began to visit Phoenix's club regularly. Yuka was not shy to use her money to spend time with her crush. Reportedly, Yuka Takaoka used as much as 1 million yen or about $10,000 a week, quickly making Phoenix one of the highest ranking hosts in the club. Although dating between a client and a host was not allowed, Yuka and Phoenix began to see each other outside work, and even then, Yuka was the one paying for everything. The thing is that Yuka was not really a rich girl. She had a nice amount of money saved up on her account, but she quickly used all of that to be with Phoenix. And when Yuka realized she was living way beyond her means, she turned to other, more drastic sources of income instead of slowing down. While Yuka's job at the club had been to entertain without any aspects, she now began to go on dates with older men and did something called delivery health. As prostitution is illegal in Japan, ordering a health girl to your home is a way to bend the rules. Technically, only intercourse in exchange for money is prohibited, which is why the health girls provide any other kind of services to their customer. But of course, as what happens behind closed doors is not monitored, many girls offer full service to get more money, and Yuka was not an exception. Even though Yuka did all of that to be happy with her crush, she was slowly but surely destroying her mental health in the process. There was no doubt Phoenix enjoyed spending time with Yuka and she wanted to visit him at the club. After all, she was willing to spend a huge amount of money on him and take care of all expenses wherever they went. When Yuka then confessed her love to Phoenix in April of 2019, he replied by saying he liked her too. He planned to quit his job and move in with her, and then they would get married. To Yuka, those words were like a drug. She was addicted to Phoenix and did not want anything else in the whole world. However, the problem was that Phoenix never lived up to his promises. In May of 2019, Yuka paid a 2 million yen down payment for an apartment close to the Fusion Club and bought Phoenix a Honda for another 2 million yen, as he had requested. Meanwhile, Phoenix continued working as a host and started dating other women. He was seen by Yuka's friends with a number of girls outside of work, which suggested they were not his clients. In addition, when Yuka would call Phoenix, she often heard other girls giggling in the background, and still, she wanted to make it work. On May 20th, 2019, Yuka and Phoenix visited a shop called Nitori before heading to their new apartment. Yuka had most likely been very excited to spend the first night together in their new home, but her mood quickly changed as Phoenix did not pay any attention to her. Instead, he was on his phone and sleeping the whole time, leaving Yuka hurt, frustrated, and increasingly desperate. She had been building this fantasy world in her mind with Phoenix by her side, but when the relationship did not work similarly in real life, Yuka's obsessive love took a dark turn. Three days later, on May 23rd, Yuka talked with her co-worker about her problems with Phoenix and the lack of affection from his side. Yuka tried to call Phoenix as they were supposed to meet up, but instead, she found out he had made plans with another female client from the club. At that moment, Yuka's entire world shattered. Phoenix had originally said he would come to Yuka's apartment around noon, but he showed up at about 3 p.m. Apparently, the two chatted for a bit before Phoenix had a bath and laid down for a nap to recharge after a night of work. Nothing in the earlier conversation could have prepared him for what was about to happen. While Yuka has not said anything, she had actually gone through Phoenix's phone and found an intimate photograph of him with another woman, confirming her worst fear. Feeling more desperate than ever before, Yuka made sure Phoenix was asleep before she walked to the kitchen, grabbed the knife, and headed to the bedroom. There, she got on top of the sleeping young man and plunged her knife into his stomach. 
As Phoenix awoke to the strange, uncomfortable feeling, he saw the large knife in his stomach, the blood on the bed sheets, and Yuka standing there staring at him and asking if he loved her. Terrified, Phoenix replied by saying he did love her and would stay with her forever. But as soon as Yuka relaxed a bit, Phoenix grabbed his phone, hit her in the face, and ran out of the apartment. Unfortunately, he just did not get that far. By the time Phoenix reached the first floor lobby, he had lost so much blood that he collapsed to the floor and passed out. The last thing Phoenix saw before everything went black was Yuka kneeling over him. When the police arrived at the scene shortly after, at about 3.50pm, they found Yuka Takaoka covered in blood, sitting next to her bleeding victim while casually smoking a cigarette and talking on her phone. Yuka showed little to no emotion or remorse when she was arrested, although another picture that was taken while she was sitting in the back of a police car captured her with a huge, excited smile as if she was proud of what she had done. When police then questioned her motives, Yuka replied, I thought that was how I could be with him. Meanwhile, a severely injured phoenix was taken to the hospital, where he remained in critical condition for five days. The doctor only gave him a 20% chance of survival. To everyone's surprise, he eventually recovered. As soon as phoenix was released from the hospital, he tweeted, In an interview, he said he did not hold a grudge against Yuka, and even agreed she had a reason to stab him. According to Phoenix, he had always seen his relationship with Yuka as a host-client kind of thing, and had never agreed to be exclusive. Yuka pleaded guilty to all charges at the Tokyo District Court. On December 3rd, 2019, she was sentenced to three years and six months. Phoenix asked the court to give her a lighter sentence after receiving a 5 million yen settlement. The judge saw Yuka's actions as incredibly selfish, and due to her clear intention to kill, prison time was unavoidable. She will be released sometime in 2023 or 2024.